Hey everybody, what's happening? This is Sammy the Thrifty Brewer coming at you and happy Homebrew Wednesday for Wednesday, October the 16th, 2013. What's been going on? Well, I got my uh, winter warmer, also known as Pandora's Box, uh, racked over into secondary. I actually racked her on top of the rum that I had uh, soaking in, or the scotch bonnets that I had soaking in the rum. I didn't rack over the peppers themselves, it actually just took the rum and uh, racked it over. Um, I actually did a bit of a taste test on the request of Mr. Sparty1995, and I was able to film that for you, so uh, here's a quick little snippet of that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Cheers again, and thanks so much for watching. Okay, Mr. Sparty, 1995, you smart ass. He said you wanted me to try a little bit of the rum liqueur that had been soaking in Scotch bonnets. So this is a little bit of it here. Now, granted, it was... I'm going to be racking onto this tonight into secondary. Um, this is what it started off as, and this is the color of it now. It's uh, amber rum, and so we'll give her a go, see what happens. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. That is spicy. Oh my god. Oh, I need something to wash that down with. I think, based on that, I'm not going to add a lot to the brew. Maybe half. Oh my god! <laughs> Lips are tingling, my stomach is warming up as it goes down. It's so sparty. Thanks for the idea. I'm about to cry in a minute. Wow, lips are on fire. So, at least now we know it's definitely going to be a winter warmer and spiced. To say the least. So, I'm not going to add an awful lot to that. I don't think. I think it's going to be just a little bit. So, we'll follow up with you guys a little bit later on. Oh my god. That's okay, so yeah, as you can see, it was a little zippy, to say the least. Um, put some toilet paper in the freezer the night before, or actually that night, so this morning was everything was okay. Whew. Reminds me of a Johnny Cash song. Anyways, um, I want to give you guys an update on that brew. It came out at uh, 6.7. It's actually turning into more of a barley wine, I think. I didn't get... Um, like I said, I didn't add any hops to it. It was basically a Cooper's Dark Ale kit. Um, a kilogram of amber liquid malt extract, um, one pound of demerara sugar, sorry, one kilogram of demerara sugar, my mistake, and then uh, 12 ounces of fancy molasses by weight. And uh, with that, I had four medium scotch bonnets that I quartered and added to uh, three ounces of rum that I touched, uh, touched base on uh, last week with that. Um, so I racked it into the liqueur, if you will, last night so this is it this is my sample without any of the maple in it. I also have another sample with the maple in it and I haven't tried it yet so we're gonna give her a go and see how it tastes it's good there's definitely a pepper punch on the back side not as killer as the sample thank God because I added all of the rum to it so but it's definitely got some spiciness and tingling a little bit on the lips that's for sure and on the back of the throat it's definitely there so I'm not sure if I'm going to have to back sweeten or not with it, just to offset it a hair, but. It's definitely got some zip. So I will definitely say that this is going to be a lovely winter warmer for that. Um, this is my sample that I basically added just a little, just a very small drop of maple extract, not maple syrup, but maple extract to it. So we'll give this a bash and see what I think. Actually, you know, I should clean my palate first. This is uh, Fracture Imperial IPA from Amsterdam Brewing Company. Uh, those of you guys who are lucky enough to live in Toronto, stop by the brewery and see if you can grab some. This is courtesy of Cousin Dan. Thank you, Dan, very much. 9% nine per, uh, nine, uh, nine uh, alcohol by volume. I touched on it... Uh, Last week, 115 IBUs. It's a lovely, wicked brew. It's so tasty. I'm just going to clean my palate with that. Probably offset the flavors a little bit of the maple, but who knows. It's awesome. It is 
super, super hoppy, nice and bitter. Okay, now we'll give this one a bash, see how we do. So this is the one, this is the Pandora's box or my winter warmer slash barley wine with the peppers um, with, a, with a very small drop of maple extract. So this is going to be my idea whether or not I'm going to add maple to it or not. Kind of digging that actually. That's kind of neat. It gives a really interesting contrast of flavors with the maple. It's not sweet because it's an extract, maple extract. Um, so what I may have to do you can definitely taste maple in there, but I think I may have to back sweeten with something possibly. But I'm not sure yet. But I mean that's the color she's going to be. And I think I'm leading I think I'm leading towards the maple. I got a nice little bit of it on the nose. And the flavor is coming through nicely. And it complements the peppers. So I think I may have stumbled across a little little gem here, possibly. Definitely will get better with some time because the heat is still there, hoping it mellows a little bit. So that's my update in terms of the Pandora's box or the winter warmer. Um, last weekend was Thanksgiving. Had a lot of turkey, a lot of ham, and a fair amount of brews. Thanks again, Dan, for coming up for the visit. It was a great little catch-up weekend, mate. Short and sweet, and it was, we had a lot of fun, brother. Um, and thank you again for the fracture. I'm going to have to uh, clean the palate again. I want to thank everybody recently who's been subscribing to the channel. I'm like two people away from 100 subscribers. So please subscribe, like the videos, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your dog, tell your wife, tell your kids um, to subscribe. It's uh, like I said, for me, it's about sharing what I do. I'm lovely. I'm extremely passionate about brewing and the whole process behind it. But more importantly, I'm, ex I'm extremely excited to share my trials and tribulations with you guys and holy crap my stomach is warm like very warm right now so that is going to be a wicked drop to have on a cold friday night cold saturday night after snowball in the driveway it's going to be good so i'm going to let that sit for the week and i'm probably going to uh, keg it uh next week next wednesday maybe next week at some point but i think i'm going to add the maple i'm thinking that's the way to go just based on uh, flavor profiles and whatnot. The, um, yeah. I'm thinking that's what we're gonna have to do. The next question is, is how much to add? But I think I'm gonna add some xylitol, maybe some lactose if I can get my hands on it. And just bring up the, uh, the mouth feel a little bit because there is a little bit there with the extract but not an awful lot it's not that you know lovely creamy feeling that i was kind of going for but that's okay <coughs> like i've said many times it's about homebrewing it's about having fun and it's about experimenting and sharing what you learn so i'm happy about that um i have not had a chance to get into my workshop and build the drying rack i've been a little lazy um, but seeing as winter's rolling in, I may be doing that uh, in the short term, as well as working on some crates for beer bottles. So, still going to be doing uh, kits for a while. Um, the plan this weekend is to put together a pumpkin ale. Um, I've been chatting with uh, Norfolk Hill Hillbilly briefly. i got to send him a message. So, Norfolk, cheers, mate, for your note there, brother. I will uh, send you a personal message on YouTube and we can share the recipe. I'd love to, I'd love to get my mitts on that, brother. Um, so that's really all that's going on. Apart from the Sammy's Pea Apple Blackberry Cider. Now, I was very lucky, my lucky in the, ter in the sense that my lovely wife allowed me to try a sip of one of hers. So this is what I'm going for. Um, over here in Canada, we've got Summer's Bee Blackberry Flavored. Uh, apples or blackberry favorite cider and I tried it. it was really really good so what I've got is I've got uh, my apple juice six ounces of blackberries water sugar honey 
I touched on it last week. Uh, if you guys are looking for a bit of an update, hit my uh, Homebrew Wednesday video from last week to get you I get you up to speed on that recipe. That's still bubbling away like mad with the champagne yeast. I'm going to do a gravity reading on it tonight and uh, give you guys an update probably next week or maybe even this Friday if I can have the intestinal fortitude to do a Beer Fun Friday video. So um, I'm going to cut this off from there because um, with the other clips and whatnot, it's going to be running a little bit long. So I want to thank you all so much for liking, subscribing, and taking the time to watch my videos. I'm just a one-man show who's passionate about beer and passionate about sharing what he's learned. What not to do, what to do, hopefully. You'll uh, take that as with a grain of salt. And uh, just want to be able to pass it on to you guys and ladies. Um, so again, I want to say cheers and thank you so much for watching and if you're going to do something do it with a homebrew and by all means everybody please keep calm and brew on everyone cheers again and thank you so very much all the best take care